everybody welcome back to the channel today's episode is very different from the original content in that boomer and i are out here with the camper bus now the camper bus has gone through a lot of changes and there is a very specific reason why i chose this location with this vehicle so it is windy it is rainy come on inside and let me explain this all right everybody coming inside of the bus as you guys can see there is quite a bit of a cluttered mess in here it's not terrible it's just all the gear that i had that was up on the walls or up on the shelf like dishes and things like that i like to put down on the floor or tucked in the side of the beds that way they don't go flying all over the place when driving the bus off road because let's face it that's what we do here so Boomer is uh, ready to get set up here. He loves jumping up on the bed and just kicking back and relaxing. It is windy, it is wet outside, but it's not cold. It's actually quite warm, too warm for this sweater, but I'm trying to stay a little bit dry. So first off, um, it's kind of funny, the last episode I was Jeep camping and I mentioned a little bit of information that I had something major coming up and everyone for some reason said, you're getting a bus or you're getting an RV. Uh, long time viewers already know that I've had this bus for two years and it's been built out. It's just been sitting in the yard. We haven't really used it a whole lot, my wife and I. So we now have a purpose for it and I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but right now I do have to get everything configured inside of here. So got some battery units. Uh, I've got some toys here and there. Got the bedding, uh, a couple things over here just to get set up. So I'm going to get everything squared away and totally set up and then start on a hot drink. All right, everybody. Well, now that I've essentially got my home configured, yes, that is a TV, and I brought way more toys and way more creature comforts on this adventure because this is actually a work trip. So it's a work, work trip because YouTube is my work, but I'm also here to do more work on my other YouTube channel as well as physical manual labor. And I'll explain that in a little bit, but Inside is looking really, really good. So to bring you guys up to speed really quickly, again, yes, TV. I've got four battery units down here. Three of them are 2,000 watt units. One of them is a 1,000 watt unit. Now, if you guys are wondering, geez, why didn't you go with a built-in lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour, 200 amp hour battery setup? Yes, I have many of those batteries, but I wanted to go with this just because I have like eight vehicles. So I've got the van, I've got the Ram, I've got the bus, I've got all kinds of camper vehicles. And if I were to do a permanent built-in system for each vehicle, that would get really expensive. So I chose to do this long ago, two years ago when I started building this bus. These batteries come out, they go in the van, they go in the Ram, they go in the GMC, they go all over the place. So that's what's going on here. This is kind of the smart hub section, the powered section. I've got a bunch of things built in up here, thermometer, uh, battery capacity voltage to check the secondary battery underneath the bus, which operates the, uh, the lights up here, as well as the door and all kinds of things without killing the starter battery. And then I've got the diesel heater control. Now we're not gonna need the diesel heater today, 
can't see that. So it is 19.7 degrees Celsius outside. Inside it is 20.6 degrees. So fairly warm. I then have a Hamilton Beach coffee maker. That's right. When I say pampered, I mean pampered. So we've got the coffee maker. I've got a Bluetooth speaker over here. We've got the titanium wood stove down there. Not going to need the wood stove on this adventure either. And a whole bunch of other things. Okay, I brought a lot of new stuff. So let's get that coffee on the go. Probably going to use this uh, just to do a little bit of a test. And uh, it's quick and fast. So let's fire this bad boy up and make a coffee. All right, guys, hot coffee is definitely good. Even though I brought the Keurig, I still have my regular cooking stuff for coffee, of course. I'm going to hand grind some coffee probably in the morning. Uh, but today is just kind of a mission to get here, get situated, and basically enjoy it. So right now, the rain has subsided for a bit. As you guys can see, all of the windows are totally open. I've got the front doors wide open. I've even got the roof hatch, the emergency exit there, wide open. There is an awesome breeze coming through here, definitely relaxing. So I do have a tarp that I can hang outside of the bus. I made two anchor points to basically make an awning. Um, if it turns out that it's gonna rain later on, I'm gonna do that because I do wanna have a fire outside, do a little bit of cooking either inside or outside or a combination of the two. 
and then probably get a nice hot shower later on because I do have the shower hooked up on the outside of the bus as well. So lap of luxury on this one guys, but there is a reason for all of this. Like I said, last episode I mentioned something really big was coming. Really big, years worth of content. Now many of you also know that my wife and I have a secondary YouTube channel called Destination Wilderness. The link is down in the description. I highly recommend you guys and girls go and subscribe to that channel right now because this big surprise is all going to be on that channel. Now I'm going to do the odd video here and there on Lone Wolf 902 of what I'm looking at here, but this channel is going to stay true to what it is, which is camping, exploring, doing all kinds of things, hot tenting, hammocks, bus, van, truck, you name it. This channel will not stop content. So. Destination Wilderness is going to start picking up with a full-fledged off-grid anchor to the channel. So my wife and I have been working very hard over the last few months and we let that channel kind of stop. Everything went on pause. We had our son who was born, who is now six months old. Uh, we've been moving some things around, doing some projects, and recently purchased this large piece of property. So we have a massive woodlot right now in the middle of nowheres. We've already been out here once with a chainsaw, clear cut a path all the way back. The next step is get the excavator in here, get a road built, and then after that, we're going to start homesteading off grid. And the second channel, Destination Wilderness, is going to be every single project all along the way how we cook how we eat how we got in how we're making our own electricity how we're making our own water every single thing we do day-to-day -day vlog plus all kinds of adventures and projects on that channel is going to be over there lone wolf 902 is going to continue doing camping which is what i'm doing right now so the reason why i came specifically here today with the bus is because kendra and orion are going to be arriving tomorrow most likely with the gmc and the rooftop tent and we are going to basically go out on the land and work the entire day moving the trees that i cut previously to make way for the excavator just to help lower the cost and make it easier for them to get in do their work very quickly get the road built and then we can get in and really start getting our hands dirty and start having some fun. So tonight, it is me and Boomer alone in this beautiful bus build, and it's gonna be lit up later on. I've got all kinds of toys. I even brought the PlayStation 5, guys. And yes, we did get Starlink because now we're out in the middle of nowheres with no service. So I've gotta get the Starlink set up a little later on and just kick back and relax, have a nice supper, and get everything ready for those guys to arrive tomorrow. So, hot coffee on the go. I know that's a lot of talking and this video is going to be a little bit somewhat off topic but not totally off topic. I uh, just want to give you guys, bring you guys up to speed basically. So and for the new viewers I will take you around the bus very briefly show you what's going on. There has been a couple of upgrades. If you're interested in how the bus was built I have an entire playlist dedicated to the van build which is on our other channel but I also have videos here on Lone Wolf 902 showing the bus build, showing the walk around and all of that stuff. I'll put the link down in this video description. You guys can click on that and do the full walkthrough. But right now, hot coffee, so cheers guys, and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes.
All right guys, with supper all finished up, definitely two thumbs up on that. Made two burgers with pretzel buns, some bacon Caesar sauce, absolutely awesome. I should mention that it is much later in the day, so it is actually starting to get a little bit dark out. And I've been hiding inside of the bus, basically just waiting for a break to get out there and collect some firewood to even justify having a campfire. So I do have the fire pit in the trunk of the bus. I do need to get that, get it set up, collect firewood, all that fun stuff. But first I do need to wash all of these dishes because they are totally covered in hamburger grease from being splattered all over the place, which is never nice. Now I do have all the windows still wide open because I definitely do not want that smell of uh, burger grease just trapped inside of the bus. And I also brought some air freshener. So we'll get that all out of here. But right now I do need to head outside and gather some water out of the water storage. I don't have the sink hooked up right now. It is hooked up, I should say. But there's no water in the jug underneath. So I'm not even gonna bother filling it because it's much faster to just put a pot on here, get it hot, dump it in the sink, do up the dishes, drain it, and then dump the gray water either tomorrow or the next day. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just clean all this stuff up, gather some water, get it hot and start doing the dishes.
everybody. With all the chores done, it is getting to that time to get outside and take care of a few things. So I'm just going to throw a hoodie on. It is very, very windy outside. Um, it's not really raining a whole lot though. It's kind of misting, drizzle, blowing across. So it's not terrible right now. I don't think I'm going to need to set the tarp up, the awning on the side of the bus. I think we're blowing that way. We're pretty much sheltered from that on the side of the bus, but I do want to get a chair, a fire pit set up outside. So grab a couple pieces of gear out of the trunk, get that situated, and then let's go on a little bit of a walk onto the property, gather up some firewood, get some water out of the fresh flowing creek, which is a huge bonus, and then come back here and process some firewood and light that fire. So let's get these lights off, save on some battery life, and let's go get some gear. Alright guys, with the fire pit situated right here, I think we're going to be pretty good as far as wind and proximity to the bus and away from the tree line. Now it's time to grab a saw and go collect some wood really quickly.
right, everybody, I've got a decent amount of firewood started here. I don't plan on having a very big fire where the wind is whipping around here. I don't want the embers and sparks and stuff going all over the place. So using this small electric chainsaw, it can actually handle some pretty large pieces of wood. So I'm actually going to use that and go into the forest a little ways and try and find one decent softwood tree that is quite round, you know, something that I can actually split down with the ax. This stuff is all dry inside, but it is not the driest on the outside. And to split it down, it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna go into the forest, find something of a little bit more size and use that little saw and cut that up. Now I did bring my 95 cc gas chainsaw in the trunk for tomorrow for clearing out the property. That thing is big, it is heavy, it is noisy. I have to mix gas. So using the little electric chainsaw, as small as it is, it stacks firewood very quickly. I mean, this was like 30, 40 seconds of cutting, which is nothing. So I'm gonna go do that, run in the woods, gather up some wood, bring a tree back here, cut it up, uh, go back into the woods, I think, and gather up some water out of the creek, come back over here, get that filtered, and then hopefully it'll be time to relax.